California Governor Gavin Newsom Visits Tesla Gigafactory Shanghai California Governor Gavin Newsom is currently visiting China to discuss climate initiatives, and one stop on Sunday included a visit to U.S. automaker Tesla's factory in Shanghai. Governor Newsom visited and toured the Tesla Gigafactory in Shanghai on Sunday, as detailed ahead of the trip by Cal Matters and reported by Alex Michelson in a video on X. The visit to the world's most productive electric vehicle EV plant underscores the unique relationship between the U.S. and China. As the latter country still controls much of the supply chain for EV battery materials. The visit is intended to look at how China and California can cooperate on climate goals. And it included trips to Shenzhen, where a fully electric 16,000 bus fleet is operational, an offshore wind facility in Jiangsu, and finally, the Shanghai facility. In addition, Newsom Test drove one of BYD's hybrid vehicles and held a meeting in Beijing with Chinese President Xi Jinping. In the video shared by Michelson, you can see Newsom and other officials watching as the Model Y production line is in action. Michelson notes that the facility produces around 2,000 cars per day at Giga Shanghai. In a separate video shared on X by Wu Wa on Sunday, Newsom was asked multiple questions outside of Giga Shanghai, including how he saw Tesla's role in the cooperation between the U.S. and China. It's demonstrable, Newsom said. I mean the jobs it's created, the entrepreneurial spirit, the innovation. I'm happy to see the success of this facility. Newsom was also asked if he would talk to Tesla CEO Elon Musk when he returns to the U.S. about what he saw at Giga Shanghai, responding that he imagines they will, and noting that Tesla moved its engineering and RD headquarters back to California earlier this year, as located in Palo Alto. Tesla also operates a large factory in Fremont, California. Additionally, Newsom was spotted test driving Tesla's newly redesigned Model 3, which you can see below in a video shared by Sawyer Merritt. During his time in Jiangsu, Governor Newsom also signed a Memorandum of Understanding on Climate Change Work, with a particular focus on offshore wind development. The state of California hopes to be producing 25 gigawatts of offshore wind electricity by 2045 which could provide around 13% of the state's power supply and could power roughly 25 million homes in the state. California has particularly ambitious climate and EV adoption goals compared to many other U.S. states, including a ban on the sale of new gas cars starting in 2035. Although the state has been ahead of the U.S. on EV adoption thus far, China still remains the top miner and producer of EV battery materials. According to UK firm Tech Insights, China manages about 80% of the world's cobalt processing, 76% of the world's natural graphite processing, 56% of its synthetic graphite and 60% of the world's processing capacity for lithium compounds. The country also produces 50% of the world's sodium hydroxide. President Joe Biden's Inflation Reduction Act IRA requires at least half of all EV battery components to be sourced in the U.S. or from a country with a free trade agreement. Source. Reposted and summarized from Zachary Visconti at Teslarati.